Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my ongoing maintenance of my 2014 Harley Electric Glide. So, uh, bring you up to speed if you haven't seen the videos so far. We've um, uh, Let me back up just a little bit. What happened was last year's trip when we went down into Iowa from uh, Alberta, um, bike wasn't getting the best fuel mileage in the world. So, um, what we figured out it was um, I had overfilled the, uh, the oil and it was breathing oil through the breathers into the air cleaner and sucking that oil into the engine. So that, that was part of it. Um, so I had a K&N filter on there, which I don't believe I cleaned properly. And I think that was restricting some of the air. So we've, um, we've changed that out to the normal um, Harley air, or pardon me, uh, paper filter. So I've gone ahead and done that. On the last video, if you watched it, um, I bled the brakes front and rear. Harley says it do it every two years because moisture gets in there. Um, you can watch some other videos and they explain more on that. I also, off camera, it's the same deal. I also um, bled the brake, the hydraulic brake uh, fluid as well. And that was, that fluid was darn near black. It was crazy how dark they needed. So when Harley says change this stuff every two years, or get the tester and test it, and as soon as there's moisture in there, get her done. I bought a kit, it's in the other video. You can see it only cost me $39 on YouTube, pardon me, not on YouTube, on uh, Amazon, and um, got it all, all good. But today, what we're gonna do is we're um, changing out fuel filter. Fuel filter today, there it is there. So from, I haven't spoken to Harley directly yet, but I've, with other videos, I've been watching, um, Harley recommends changing it every 100,000 miles, 160,000 uh, kilometers. That's nuts, that's crazy, that's way too much. So I'm thinking that's po possibly part of the issue with my uh, poor fuel mileage. These things, when, the, when this was new in 2014, I would get f over 400 kilometers to a tank. Of course, we're going to the States, the fuel is better there, we get even four, uh, further. I was getting barely 350 on this in the States on good fuel. So um, there we go, The ramble, enough rambling, we're gonna get into this. So what we have to do first is we'll have to remove the seat, uh, remove the, the console, and then we'll get into uh, what else has to be done. So I'll move you guys over here and we'll get that seat off. One screw back here, already done it. Of course, it just slides off. There we go, done. To remove the console, 10 millimeter, or actually I, what I used was 3 8 Comes off. At the front here, it's the uh, Allen bolt. What size, what size is that? It's just a second. It is um, 5 30 seconds. Okay, the console. With that stuff, we take the fuel cap off. Okay, put that away. Now the console will lift off, supposedly. And there we go. There's a bit of a tight seal here. But before I get too carried away, there's one thing we have to do. Um, this gray connector here has to be undone so the fuel pump does not work. Uh, so we have to purge the system. It's a pressurized system. We don't want to be taking anything apart pressurized. So it's just a clip. Let's take this off. And it's the gray one. If I can get it. That's off. Now we start the bike up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the filter on. Put the... Just make sure there's no pressure in there at all. We run it when it's, it's empty. console comes off. Now this you can do anything you want with. You can just completely disconnect it or you can just bring it down. 
course, my wife takes the uh, perfect time to vacuum on a Saturday. Just that. So what we do here, we follow up. There's a breather. Just pop that out. Put that aside. Gonna take this clip off here. Push down. And off she comes, put that aside. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly clean this up. So now there we go, disconnected. Now what we have to do is this ring here is a it's spin ring. There's these little catches it goes under. There's a tool they make for this. Or what you can do, you can just get a, dr a drift and hit one of the tangs and twist it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. First, I'm gonna protect the tank. Take the ring off. Plastic tab in the front, right here. So there's a different view. I got a little dirt in here. But if you can see, you can do this two ways. You can remove all the, uh, there's two fuel lines here. You can remove those if you want. Or you can just pull out this retaining tab right here. See this, there's, hopefully you can see that. There's just a little retainer here. And that pops off. So let me get a pair of vice grips. Just wipe all that down so we get no fuel everywhere. So we just bend that down like this. Grab it. There we go. And that just comes right out. That's all that is, right there. And we weasel this back and forth. There's gonna be a little fuel come out, so over the tank. Now there's a, can I, I wonder if I can twist this around. There we go, there's an O-ring in there. We pull that out thoroughly. And I just got rid of my needle nose. So we'll just pull that filter out and let's see the damage. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there we go. I'm gonna get the new one. New one, old one. I've got 74,000 on this motorcycle. Um, yeah, it shouldn't look like, yeah, it shouldn't look like that. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that out. There's a bit of gunk in there off on the filter, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soft up, up out of there and get back to you. New filter, pops right in. Seal goes around the top, brand new seal, always use a new seal. Now there's a tab here that that's got to fit in. It's funny, you know, in the other videos I watch, everything looks so, uh, <laughs> so easy. So we'll just line that little tab up there, weasel it back in.
Oh, I got her in. That was a little fiddlier than I thought it'd be. So now once it's out, I'll get her back in. Well, that, that was a little fiddlier than I thought. What goes in here is just under here, there's a, um, I guess it's the fuel inline. But uh, anyway, I just had to get that, the bowl over top of that. So now you just line up the tab there. That goes back on, you know, to get, just to keep a little bit of extra dirt out and put this on. Get my ring. Tap that hole. Fully seated. And there we go. We'll hook everything back up. Breather. You know what? I'm going to bring on this one. Electrical connector, click, breather. This back up. Alright, moment of truth. This is a um, ultimate seat. I've had it for a couple years now. It's taken quite a while for it to break in. I've got to admit, I didn't like it the first year. It was a little hard. Um, bad thing about it, it's not waterproof. So it comes with a, a waterproof cover that you can put on at night or while riding. Um, I haven't put it on yet, uh, unless it was raining really hard, but um, I'm starting to really um, like it. This year's trip wasn't too bad at all, no hot spots. But one thing I did find when I took it off, let's flip it over here the rear mounting the seat was first off was really really loose on the bike and so what the heck's up with that so this is the rear mount here this screw machine screw here had fallen out and was it's gone just gone 
and it was only held on by this one. This one only had like two or three threads left actually holding it. So this this tang here was really, really loose. So luckily I had a machine screw, not the same, but it fits, and now it's nice and tight. So now the only thing we have to do is put the seat back on the bike. Can somebody tell me what that strap does? What does a street, the seat strap do? I don't know. So there we go with my wife vacuuming in the background. Fuel filter change. I'm so <laughs> anxious to get this out on the road now to see if the responsiveness of the throttle now and see if it gets any better fuel mileage. I am just outside of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It's only 12 degrees today. Um, 10 degrees is 50 degrees for everybody in, uh, in Imperial. Tomorrow is supposed to be a little warmer, 17 degrees, so if I get chaps on, it might go up. So, fuel filter change. Here's the old one. There's the new one. Quite the difference. And like I said, my bike's got 70, 74,000 kilometers on it. So, um, and Harley says every 100,000 miles, which for us is 160,000 kilometers. Can't see it. I'm changing that. I think every time I uh, change the uh, change oil in it, so I might be doing it every year, or maybe I'll do it when I do all the, the when I do all three holes. I'll do it every every th three years or so. But but that's quite the difference. I bought two. The other one's in the bike now. Before, after. All right, we'll keep that filter for next time. So, just to recap, we've changed all the brake fluids front and back. We've changed out the plugs. We've changed out the air filter. We've changed out the fuel filter now. We have uh, flushed the hydraulic uh, clutch. It should be all ready for next year. I'm gonna do an oil change in it in the spring. So it's all ready for next year's trip where we're supposed to be going into, um, into Montana and then into Washington and maybe right to the coast, hopefully. On that trip, we're looking forward to that. So once again, thanks for watching um, and please stay tuned for the next one. This is Dave, I'm out.